Hey guys, this is Trenchy, and we're back again. Bring you another video. Well, I'm back again to bring you another video, and this time it's another Throne Me Thursdays brought to you by Hey Isn't That Devon Graham, aka Andrew, who has created this challenge uh, every Thursday. And this Thursday, we are talking about top five horror movie scores. So I went down and I decided to go through some of my uh, favorite films, uh, favorite uh, so a lot of good horror films, and listen to the scores again, get them fresh in my head, and I listen to them, and here's the five I have come up with. Um, number five in, on this list is Carrie, 1976. Why I chose, why I chose Carrie to kick off this list? Um, Carrie has a very beautiful but also unsettling um score especially the main one in the beginning it's very beautiful very lovely but also haunting at the same time and you can tell something's off about it and when they want to build up tension in scenes the score really matches that and fits to that theme and really is good at building up the tension with just the pace of the music and how it's going and like I said it's very beautiful and very lovely but also very haunting which very much fits Carrie's character herself she is a lovely person but she is haunted by the bullies and her mother and herself and she is haunted by her insecurities and her powers that she doesn't know how to control and she thinks it's a sign from the devil and all that so the the score really matches the character which is very unique and very cool I really like that um so yeah I, I gotta go with Carrie here for number five number four is Lost Boys 1987 now I know everybody talks about the Lost Boys soundtrack Lost Boys has a killer soundtrack and it deserves all the recognition it gets but it's score is amazing as well and I think people very much overlook the score of Lost Boys. Lost Boys has a, a great score you know when they're flying through the air and they're like picking people up out of the cars and shit and eating them or out of the parking lot and shit you know those POV shots they have some great as music in the background like especially like the the loud bang like the drum beats in there like boom boom Boom, and I really like how it mixes very well with the other music and si and sound effects going on in the in the film. It's very brilliant. Like I said, the soundtrack is amazing, but the score is just as good as the fucking soundtrack, man. This this score is awesome. It really fits the tone. It really fits the theme of the movie. I I I love it. I love the like I said the the drum beats. The how they did that and stuff like that. I think it's a drum. I don't know. It goes like boom, boom. Like it's awesome. Lost Boys has a pretty wicked score. So I had to give number four to uh to a Lost Boys because it really it really fits the tone and no one really talks about it because of the soundtrack, which I get. I I do. I love the soundtrack. The soundtrack's amazing, but the score is awesome as well. Uh, number three is Jaws from 1975. You can't really ignore the Jaws theme, man. Dun, 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 you know, oh, you know, all that, all the noises and stuff. It sounds like an action soundtrack, but it also has the creepiness to it as well. And it really sounds like if animals had theme songs while they were hunting, this is the theme song that would be playing. This could work in lots of movies where someone's just like hunting someone slowly. Like, it's so great and it's so it's so timeless. Uh, the score for this is just awesome. When you think Jaws, you think this fucking score, man. Jaws is synonymous with the score. The score is half the time is like the first thing you think of is this fucking score when you think of this movie. And that's what's so awesome about it and it's so very well done very well made very suspenseful and like I said it's very much feels like if animals had theme songs while they were hunting things this would be the theme song like 
It's 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 brilliant. It's fucking Jaws. <laughs> it's fucking Jaws. And it, it, Jaws 1975. I hope I've been reading the reading the numbers. Um, Lost Boys was 1987. I mean the years. And Carrie was 1976. Okay. Um. Now we go into number two, which is the which is the Shining. Um. Number two is The Shining from 1980. Uh, this this music, the the score for this is brilliant. It sets up the dread very well. Like it sets up the the dread and the idea of something bad's gonna happen very well in the beginning opening credits with his music. And then it keeps up in the hotel and it keeps up the theme. And it's very it makes the tell the the hotel feel even more claustrophobic and helps that claustrophobic feel which the which the movie is going for because these people are trapped in this hotel alone it high up in the mountains during a fucking snowstorm during the winter where it's hard to get up there because there's no like clouds really plow, plow the road and there's like heavy layers of snow everywhere like holy shit like and they're and they're in this hotel alone with ghosts and a crazy alcoholic. <laughs> so yes, who may or may not be possessed by a ghost. So yes, the, the the theme really helps with that. The theme really fits well. I mean, the score really fits well with the performances. It really fits well with this movie. And really ties everything together in making this one of one of the best horror movies ever made. It really helps tie everything together. Um, The Shining is is fucking top notch. And the, the score is no exception. The score, it, it never drags or anything. It's it's brilliant. It's a brilliant score. And really adds to the movie, like I said. Like, so, yeah, of course, The Shining had to be number two. And you guys know my number one. Everybody knows number one. You can't beat this fucking score, man. You can't beat it. How do you beat this score? How? You don't. And number one is Halloween, nineteen seventy-eight. What, what what can I say? It's it's brilliant. It's a brilliant score. Everybody thinks of this fucking score. Everybody when they think of this movie, they think of the score. To hear the score, you think Halloween. You think Halloween. This has become synonymous for the whole series. I don't know if they played it in three. I forget, but it's become synonymous with Michael Myers. You think Myers when you hear this theme. This theme is so perfect, so great, so, like, so normal, but also off at the same time. It's, there's nothing really too complex going on. It's very simple, yet simple, and, but still, it creates that atmosphere, and it really sets you up for what you're about to watch, and that hauntingness, and the hauntingness. And it really, it really fits the character of Michael Myers, the boogeyman. This is like the theme of the fucking boogeyman, of the creepy guy slowly going around murdering people, you know, creeping around. This is a very creeping theme. And it, it fits. And holy shit. It, it's just brilliant. Like, what else can I say is that this score is just, just fucking awesome. Like, and it's... Every, every, pretty much most people would know this score. This and Jaws are probably the two synonymous scores. Because people don't really pay attention to scores. Uh, like me. I don't really, I do, but I don't. Like, I hear them and I appreciate them, but I kind of take them for granted. That's why I had to go back and rewatch for this list. But Halloween's one of those you don't really take for granted. It's right there front up and center. And you remember that shit for days. You remember that. And that is, uh, fucking Halloween. Um, that, that, yeah. I don't think I could say anything more about it, man. Just, you know how good it is. You don't need me to sit here and praise the Halloween score. You know how good it is. Either that or you just never watch the film because it's a horror movie. No! Which I understand. If you don't like horror movies, you're not... You're probably not gonna like Halloween because it's just if you if you're not into horror movies at all, it's not one of those horror movies that is gonna persuade you to like horror. I believe 
It is, but it is one of the best horror movies ever made. It's it's brilliant. It's it's fucking brilliant. Um, but yes, this score is just awesome. Um, like I said, it's the tone of the movie and everything. So yeah, that was my list. Um, next week we're doing alternate endings, which should uh should be interesting. I'm I'm really down for that. I gotta go look in around and. I know, I know there's some, I know there was one I really like, I just gotta remember what movie it's from, because it's been a long time, but, um, yeah, that should be fun, so I wanted to say thank you to Andrew, aka his and that Devon Graham, um, for making this list, this was really awesome, uh, I got to go back and listen to some good music, good, good music without lyrics, because I usually like lyrics with my music, but, um, Orga, Orga, uh, Orga, you know what I'm trying to say, orchestra, I can't say the word, Orga, Orga, I can't say it right now, I need, I need pronunciation help, you know what I mean, the, the with just the orchestra, uh, with just the, uh, it's not even, it's, uh, instrumental, instrumental, it's not orchestral, that's not a word, orchestral is not a word, or orchestral, I'm going to stop saying that because that's not a word. And I'm getting tongue-tied over a word that does not exist because I'm trying to pronounce it quite correctly, but I can't pronounce it correctly because there's no way of saying it correctly because it doesn't exist. I hope you guys get a little laugh out of this because I don't know, man. I'm weird. I really thought orgotestral or orgotestral. That I thought that was a word. Okay, but anyways, instrumental. Instrumental music can be really good really good, like, uh, Beethoven, and, uh, Zachary Hemsley's The Way, and, of course, all the themes on this list, all the scores on this list, so, yeah, um, so thank you for, uh, having me listen to some music I don't really listen to often, which is instrumental, which is still really brilliant music, um, but, yeah, uh, okay, thank you guys for watching, I hope you guys have a nice day, stay frosty, this is Trenchy, signing off. Be bop boop.